I want to share with you a topic that I've been thinking about a lot. And the title of today's episode session is how I would make um, 10K a month working in tech sales ASAP if I had to start over again. Just for you know, um, I used to work in tech sales at a company called Clio. I did 10K per month multiple times. Now I work as a sales trainer, helping sales reps and sales company and SaaS companies level up their sales. But I want to kind of wind back the clock and add value to you listening or watching on YouTube how if you're a BDR and SDR and AE, I want to walk you through what I what got me to 10K per month working in tech sales and will help you do the same. So the first thing is this, right? The reality is that if you're looking to, to earn at least 10K per month working in tech sales, the reality is you probably have to work, you probably have to be working as an, a, as an AE. Um, I'm sure there might be some enterprise um, BDRs that might be making 10K per month. I do not know, but I can only speak from my experience. And people that I know that made 10K per month or more in tech sales all worked as AE. So let's frame the conversation in this way that either this is going to work for you that you're either an AE has to level up or it could be a BDR or SDR who get, get, to get promoted to an AE in order to get that income. But I'll walk you through how to do it. It's pretty straightforward because it worked for me. The first thing I would do, imagine that I'm a BDR or an AE or an SDR. I want to get to 10K per month. I'm going to work on my mindset. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can see I'm sharing my screen here. The first thing I would do on my mindset, I would do is I would take a piece of paper and a pen and write down 10, I should put this, I should put write down 10, I should put it here. Write down 10 goals that I want to achieve in the next 12 months. It could be buy a house, buy a condo, get a girlfriend, get a wife, whatever it is, right? Write them down. And, you know, <clears throat> they can be very vague at first, but it's a lot, the key thing is put it on a piece of paper. There's power when you do that. It always comes, things come to life when you put a pen and paper to your dreams, and ideas, your goals. As a video, if you, if you have a chance, watch on YouTube. It's Matthew McConaughey talking about how he was in college and he took a piece of paper and a pen and wrote down 10 goals he wanted to achieve in his life. And he forgot about the paper. And then, I don't know, whatever, say 40 years later, I'm sorry, 20 years later or so, he randomly found the paper, opened the paper up, and all 10 of his goals were achieved including he wrote down, I want to win an Oscar for Best Actor, which you know he did. So there's power in that. That's what I would do. And make sure this, that out of those 10 goals you, you write down, one of those goals, if you're a BDR or SDR, has to be, I'm now working as an AE. If you're an AE, your goal should be, I'm earning at least 10K per month working in tech sales. So that has to be the goal. So whatever goal that's important to you, in this case, it should be your, your goal as far as your sales career. Pick the one goal of those 10. Pick the one goal. And I'll write that goal down every single day. I'll be like, I am an AE earning 10K per month working in tech sales. I am an AE working in tech sales earning 10K per month. Per, um, I am an AE working, earning 10K per month working in tech sales. I'll write that over and over and over and over again. You want me want to put more power to this? Add a date to it. Pick a date that you want to be able to achieve this goal. That's going to have some real fuel to the fire. That's the first time I'm doing Work on my mindset. Secondly, what to do is I would work on my habits. Habits. So there's lots of habits you can have, but if there was only three habits I would, I would implement to get to that 10K per month based on my experience, whatever, when I remember what I did. The first thing I would do is I would do more that was paid for. So say I'm working as a BDR and I'm paid to make 50 cold calls per day, I'm doing 75. 75. If I'm an EAE and I'm cast to make 10 outbound calls per day, I'm doing 40. I'm doing more than I'm paid for. That's the fastest way to get promoted in any, any area of sales in your career. From top to bottom is do more than you pay for. Most people, 90, I would say 80% of the people, they go to work and they do what they're paid for. They stay in the lines. But people get promoted. People that get to 10K per month and more, they do more than they pay for. The second thing I would do is I would invest in myself every single day for at least 30 minutes a day. Every single day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, weekends, every single day for 30 minutes, 
I would focus on learning about sales in my industry through reading books, a podcast, a blog, an audiobook, constantly, constantly, constantly feeding my mind, learn new things. That's going to you know, bring, allow, you have more, allow me to have more knowledge to bring to phone calls, conversations, and to demos that I'm running. And the third habit I would do is I would make sure that I would get my calls recorded. Either my company has gong, or if not, I take my phone, I would record my cold calls, I record my, my demos, and record the calls, and I review those calls every single day. And on top of that, I would take one call per week, one call per week, and get feedback on that call. I take it to my manager. If my manager's busy, I take it to my team, my team lead. If my team lead's busy, I take it to the top rep in my organization as far as the top BDRs or whatever. But I, I would get feedback. I would seek feedback. I would wait, wait, wait to get feedback. I wouldn't wait for my manager to ask. I would ask my manager, hey, can you move my call? I Every single week, I make sure it's methodical. They're going to know. She's going to know. I'm coming into my one-on-one or ahead of time with a call. Let's review this call. And obviously, the feedback I get from that call, I'm applying it to the next call or the next demo I'm running on. And now, the next thing I'm working on is is the <clears throat> is the, the last thing is my skills. So, as many skills you can master, but in order to get to 10k per month, coming from BDR or SDR or NAE, if I'm a BDR, I'm focusing on mastering one skill, which is prospecting. So you can pick what you want. It could be the phone, it could be the email, it could be social selling. Pick the one that works best for you. I probably would focus on the phone because that's probably the one where I can get the most bang for my buck, but email is great too. And social selling is great too. Just depends, I guess, what vertical I'm in. I've been doing more enterprise. It might be email. Social selling depends on the vertical. But anyways, if I'm an SDR or an AE, I'm going to master how to conduct deep discovery calls. So the key is how would I master it? Very, very simple. I would invest 100 hours in learning this skill on YouTube through audiobooks or YouTube. That's what I would do. So say I want to be a BDR. I want to master how to make cold calls and prospect and book call meetings. I would invest one hour hours learning YouTube. I research every video I can call. I can read. I could uh, find on cold calling, on prospecting, on tonality and phone calls. And I'd get to 100 hours. I write down. And every day I do one hour. So I do today, I do an hour. Marked it off. I would track it in a Google Doc. Day two, do 100 hours, check that off. So make sure you get the 100 hours. If you can do 100 hours invested, which is about three months if you do it every single day, you'd be, I want to say master, master in the sense that I would know more than 95% of the population on that way to do it, the prospecting or the discovery. By having that high skill, I'd be going to conversations with prospects. I'd be going to sales conferences and demos and presentations. I'd be going to discovery calls with so much knowledge, so much insight, so that I'd be just, I'd be like a Jedi knight. Jedi, you know, <laughs> and be able to be able to really add value, get to the get to the pain points in a way that would drive the conversation forward to possibly more sales. This works. This is what I would do. And if I'm fired up. <laughs> I wish I knew this ahead of time when I was a rep. But anyways, I'm sharing this with you. So this is it. If you apply this, I guarantee that in three to six months, you'll be able to make 10K per month working in tech sales if you apply what I share with you. Now, if you also need help with this, maybe like this is kind of cool, but all this stuff, how do I, how do I, how do I put it all together? How do I structure it? I can help you with that. I help BDRs, SDRs, and AEs earn the next their promotion in tech sales within three to six months. If that interests you, in the link below, there's a there's a in the button, um, description below, there's a link. And click on the link. There'll be a video that walks you through more about my mindset first selling framework, which breaks you through, that breaks that kind of expands on the three things I talked about: mindsets, habits, and skills. And if that resonates, resonates with you, and you like what I what I shared in the video, you can book a call with me. We can have a conversation to see how I might be able to, we, might be, we might be a good fit for me to coach you and help you take your career to the next level to either earn your next next, next promotion in three to six months or earning 10k per month working in tech sales. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay blessed and thank you for listening and watching.